Okay, all right. So I wanted to talk about the title influencer. Like it feels weird to be called that only because like, to me, like the word influence is its own separate like thing besides like what's happening and what's been happening in the past mm, like seven years with like the, now they have a name for it, the creator economy. It's been pretty weird like I have like videos that I was going to show you and stuff. I still, I'm going to show you it because like it's a part of what I'm talking about. But I just wanted to clarify that it's weird like having that as one of my titles that's been added to like what I am as a creative because it's just why does everything need a title? But I mean, if the title is going to get me money, I guess. <laughs> but it's it's been kind of weird because like I didn't really get called that and like see that on like a sheet or whatever until last year like around this time last year which is crazy like i i flew to wow not washington i flew to not seattle i'm sorry i'm like all these i'm kind of effing up and like calling all these states that i see similar the same name let me think about this okay so i went to portland oregon for the first time last December um it was a Nike thing uh I never been there before last December I've been to Seattle that's why I was getting confused because they kind of have similar vibes but a little different I don't know if you've been to either state you might know what I mean but if you haven't you should try it for yourself don't don't go based on what I'm saying because I haven't I didn't only stayed there for a few days like how long was it it was not that long I was there for like I think one, two, three days, but barely, cause I like flew in at night. Uh, I f like showed up to the event. It was like the Nike headquarters. It was really cool. The people were really nice. Like I believe I have footage. I do not have any clue where it is. If it's if I have anything good, I will put it in here and then you'll just see it. But anyway, it was like really interesting. Like when I went to go grab like the sneakers they wanted me to wear it was like there's like a, a like a list of like oh like these are for the influencers and like my name was there i was like what <laughs> i was like this is so weird because like i just never had that like title but the event was cool it was like uh it was a collab with ebay because ebay i think it was like the 20th anniversary since the Nike X eBay shoes had come out. Um, the shoes look really cool. They're a lot of money. Um, I forget how much they were selling for, and I don't remember how much like they sold for back then. But I thought it was interesting. Like right now, I think it's interesting looking back because like I'm getting into more like my content's leaning more to fashion. I don't know if you looked at my Instagram lately. It gives more fashion than skateboarding. But anyway, it was like a cool event. It was Nike, but like kind of like different from Nike. Like the people that did the event was called the Bodecker or Bodec Foundation. If I said it wrong, my bad. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put a little picture up here. But the the woman in charge, she's really nice. She gave us a tour of the whole spot. Like it, it was crazy. I don't think I filmed it because I was just like so into like the, like, mmm. I don't know what's the word right now, but it wasn't giving filming. You know what I mean? Like if you just, like someone's just touring you around and like, it was like a good vibe. I was like, I'm not about to like film this. I maybe had took some pictures and I'll just look through everything and try to show you guys what I'm talking about if I have any images. But I did film a video and long story short, like something happened with like some kind of like, you know how a lot of things are getting canceled these days so I, I forget what it was and they were like actually never mind you don't need to post the video on TikTok and I was like okay <laughs> but I think I don't have the video anymore because my old TikTok got deleted around this time like like a few weeks after that around this time last year and I wasn't able to get it back so I think that video is gone too unless I somehow saved it which is annoying because I wanted to put the video in this video. 
Because I, I made a cool little video. So I do have some footage. Because that's what I went there. That's what, like, I went there to go make a video and, like, you know, showcase the event. Um, but yeah, my TikTok is down bad right now because I, I was so mad that it, it got deleted because, uh, they said I was, they said I was 13 years old. I don't know if it was an AI issue or someone reported my account being spiteful, but I am not 13. I'm far from 13 years old. And then when I finally reached out to someone at TikTok, like the account was already like gone. Like you have a certain amount of time you're supposed to like get it back before it's like actually deleted the good part though is that i made a backup account after all this happened unfortunately and i was able to get the username back because it, it just went back into the system so i have that username if you want to follow me on there i'm technically there and i will be making more content on there um so yeah so let's fast forward to this month and this week i shot something with a brand for a brand uh I will not say the name yet because the video is all done and stuff, right? We submitted it, da da da. But it has not released yet. And I'll let y'all know on like the YouTube community tab when it is released. Cause I think it's a really cool like video that we did. We did it in we did it in like a day, like less than a day. And it came out really good. And we have the images. I'll show the images like later i'll do like a behind the scenes like photo there's only one there's like a test shot i'll put that i'll like i'll upload that and then i'll like keep updating you guys on the youtube community page let me know if you guys like that i've been doing it a little bit more like seeing something you know and testing that out but the shoot was really fun i'm liking like basically creative directing my own shoots that i'm doing like for brands i think it's cool Cause the way that I'm like doing it is like I'm pivoting towards fashion. I feel like I've always been in that realm, sort of. But like there was always skateboarding attached to it, and or like me and the skate kitchen attached to it. But now I just wanted to be like you know Moon Bear attached to it. Um, and separately, I did have some runs with fashion because I had an agent before, but I, I like stepped away from that um, like a few years ago. And I just really was into, you know, I was just like, oh, I need to take a step back from like modeling and just do this thing. And now we're back at a place where I'm into fashion in a way that I would like to use it as like a a career thing again, like as a part of my career. Cause it, it, like the way I do things before, I didn't really focus too much on the details in the sense like, of like who's making it, what goes behind it, and the history of it. I didn't really look into that until I started looking into it last year. Like it's it's been a while now. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> there's just like a lot of things I didn't realize, like how much time has passed. Uh, yeah. So the shoot was really fun, and it's like helping me pivot towards fashion, because even though it wasn't a fashion video. I was able to like put me in it and me is like I just have a certain style that is I would say pretty unique to just unique in general so that's in there and then I also incorporated DJing into it so that's cool and yeah so I'm just like putting together the things that I like doing creatively in the work that I want to do. Like, I don't want to just do, like, skate stuff. Like, obviously, that's why... That's one of the reasons I haven't been uploading. One of the many reasons. I think I touched on it a little bit in my first video of this month. Did I upload it this month or last month? Whenever I uploaded it, the first one I uploaded this year. Uh, probably this year, yeah. Because I haven't uploaded in a year before that. But, yeah, so... That's what I wanted to talk about. I don't know if this made sense. <laughs> I wanted to get a video out there because it's been a little like, it's been like two weeks or something, but the video is gonna be fire. So if you wanna see it, make sure you're following me on Instagram. It'll be right here, it'll be somewhere. It'll be in the description and it'll be on my like homepage of my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm getting into that. I feel like good again. I feel like I definitely made the right choice going back to New York. 
I'll talk a little bit more about that in like future videos and I'm like settling down here and it's gonna be it's gonna be good 2024 is gonna be good like I feel good right now the year is ending for me on a good note I feel like this has been a challenging year maybe one of the most challenging in different ways so yeah it's been really helpful being back in New York even though it's getting cold and I like I know I'm from here but I do not like winter and I've been gone for about three winters since I lived in LA and today is the first day of winter too and it's like right before like a few days it's been getting really really cold after being like kind of hot for uh end of fall winter coming so we'll see how that goes i might even have to make a little trip to the caribbean next month because i also have other things i need to do there and my family's from there so we'll see we'll see i want to i want to go and I do have vlogs from that from when I went four years ago, but I really didn't know how I was going to fit into the channel, so I, I didn't upload it. I'm always, I'm always filming, but yeah, to upload is like, I think I get too like, hmm, I'm like, does it fit the theme, this, that, that. But now I think I know what I want to do and I feel like I have the support or the idea, like I just feel more grounded being back in New York. And so... We'll see a shift in my content. We've already been seeing a little shift. And if you want to stay for it, thank you. And if not, I get it. Like you wanted to see skate stuff, blah, blah, blah. Like I do still want to do skate stuff, but for me, that's not my main focus. And uh, it's really cold here. And I just, it's so hard to start skating for me because I do not like the cold, like I like, just really really don't like it so for me to start skating I don't know if a lot of you skate but like to get started up you have to be like pumped up and this and that and then like eventually you keep skating you stop being cold because you're like warmed up from all the movement but I the first part getting to that part where I'm warmed up is very hard for me in the winter like it's a lot <laughs> but anyway yeah that's the video I I'm just letting y'all know that I'll be uploading more and it feels good to upload again. And I didn't want to upload before because, you know, for me, it's really weird because a lot of people don't have the option of like, oh, I don't feel good, so I'm not going to do X, Y, Z. <laughs> I just like, it's crazy. But I think for me, the way that I work is that I need to be in it or else it will come off as inauthentic or you'll know when I like not into something which is interesting because like acting is like you're pretending the whole time <laughs> what is this cat doing I think she's about to break into the room so we're gonna end the video here bye guys uh have a happy holidays if you don't see me again before January bye damn maybe this should be an update video <laughs> Stop.